Hey, good morning, fellas. Um, it's the uh, 3rd of uh, November. Well, about four days and a bunch of hours until um, the election. And uh, this video is to uh, let you know just how crazy things are getting. Uh, a while back, I wrote uh, President Biden. I sent him an email through the whitehouse.gov addressed to him about sending $60 billion to uh, the Ukraine when we could use that money here. On top of that, I, I also uh, sent my congresswoman, Veronica Escobar, the same thing, sh telling her that she voted for and for funding actual Nazis. I say that again. There is the, I think they're called the Red Sector and the Azov Battalion. They believe in Nazism, fascism, truly Nazis. And I said, how could you do that? How could you send $60 billion to them? And, you know, I didn't think anything of it. And now, last night at 7.44 p.m., November 2nd, 2022, 12 hours ago, I get an email from the White House. And I'll read it to you, and then I'll post it in here so you can see it. And, and the reason I'm going to do this, I'm, I'm, I'm very atypical political, but this is scary. I, and I have to tell you something. If someone can convince you that it's okay to not like these people, you kind of start the dehumanization process, which means that you don't have to respect that person. You don't have to treat that person equally. You, it's a very slippery, bad slope to go down. So I'll read you uh, the letter. Mind you, I'm a fairly new Republican. I used to be a centrist moderate my whole life. I'm actually a registered Republican. And here we go. And it says, Dear Mr. Forsyth, thank you for writing to me. The work of my presidency is to build an America that is more prosperous, free, and just. To achieve this mission, we must be honest about the MAGA extremists that threaten the very foundation of our republic. MAGA extremists are working in state after state to give pow the power to decide elections to partisans and cronies. They do not respect the Constitution, they do not believe in the rule of law, and they do not recognize the will of the people. But we are not powerless. While the threat to America's democracy is real, it is within our power to stop this assault and choose a better future. I want to be clear, and that's a fucking public, public, what do they call politician statement? I want to be clear, fucking. Hey. Not every Republican embraces this extreme ideology and, and far more Americans reject it than accept it. However, there is no question that the party is dominated, driven and intimidated by the former president and MAGA, as uh, Donald Trump, MAGA extremists. We have seen insurrections launch a deadly assault and brutally attack law enforcement on January 6th. Local elections, officials, and poll workers subject to intimidation and death threats, and FBI agents facing threats from their fellow citizens. There is no place for political violence in America, and we cannot allow it to be normalized. You know, like Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and those guys burning down the White House, trying to burn the White House. Come on now. It is a fundamental truth that you cannot love your country only when you win. Democracy cannot survive when one side believes there are only two outcomes to any election. Either they win or they were cheated. I will not stand by and watch the will of the American people be overturned by conspiracy theories, elections stolen by people who refect, refuse to accept defeat, and the freedom to vote, and have your vote counted to be taken from us. I am asking you to join me in this battle for the soul of this nation. 
a soul defined by sacred propositions that are create that we are all created equal, entitled to be treated with the decency and dignity and respect deserving of justice. However imperfect, our democracy must be defended. For democracy makes all of these things possible. It is the work of generations and the work of our time for all time. Sincerely signed, Joe Biden. That email of copy of a letter sent to me last night is saying that just about 50% of the United States are bad guys. And if you don't, I have no problem with anybody voting the way they want to. I don't have any problem with any of that stuff. I, it, it, it's, it's scary. It's, it seems like we're on a path where we may not be able to find our way back. Um, I had no idea I would get a, I mean, extremist, magus extremist. Why wasn't it a big deal in 2000, I believe it was 2016, when Hillary Clinton said that Donald Trump stole the election and there were all these people denying the elections and all that kind of stuff. Now, here's the caveat, the spin for me. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. He's a five-time draft dodger, you know, because he couldn't go to Vietnam like everybody else who was drafted in there. And he got five deferments for heel spurs all the while that Joker was playing tennis and golf in college. I think he's a bully. I will have an extremely difficult time voting for him instead of a guy like DeSantis, who was in the Navy at Judge Advocate General Corps, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, who was an actual MP, combat veteran. I, I can't. I just will have a very, very, very difficult time uh, voting for Donald Trump. So it is what it is, but I don't consider people wanting to make America great again. I don't consider that an extremist view. Uh, and I didn't send 60 fucking billion dollars to the Ukraine who have actual fucking Nazis in their ranks. And they're talking about possible nuclear war. Anyways, I digress. I know this is probably longer than it's supposed to be. I'll put the, uh, once this uploads out, once it starts uploading, I'll put the copy of this letter. I, it, I don't think it'll let me copy the seal. It'll let me download the seal, but I'll show you. It's dated November 2nd. Uh, I'm sure Joe Biden didn't write this letter or sign this letter himself. I don't have any problems with that guy. I just wish he'd go home and live an easy life. We need younger people running this country. We don't need a bunch of fucking skeletal dinosaurs running around telling what the next the next generation coming up, men and women coming up behind us, what we they can and can't do. We haven't done a great job. We got to give them a chance to lead. So I, I don't want to see any more 80 year olds arguing about prune juice and diapers uh, trying to be the leader of our country. We need somebody like, um, I don't know. I think the last young guy was uh, Kennedy, John Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Um, we went to the moon with that guy. Any, any, anyways, I just you if you if you normalize or try to normalize that it's okay to hate somebody else simply because they disagree with you, you have dehumanized that person, and it makes it easier for you to do things to them, keep things from them, stand in their way, because you're on the side, uh, you're on the side of justice and truth and democracy and all of that. That's, this is a fucking scary fucking letter. And I just, anyways, fuck it. Uh, stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't take care of yourself, like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.